You know these uh these these tells me that they had a gate sometime in the past. So there probably was a huge like gate over here to get here. Ah, just like the man. <laughs> so I think that they used to have a gate over here so you couldn't just get in but now things changed times changed and we can just walk in you know you know you still see ladders here and there but they're mostly disappearing they weren't the most reliable cars to start with, so the ones that you have on the roads had to be the best, the best. And as we continue the tour of some unusual houses in my city, Yekaterinburg, I took you over to this uh, ex-German community. And uh, some of these houses, they're like single family houses that were built after 1945 by some German prisoners of war. And they're pretty unique and that's why I took you over here. So let's go take a look. So I was able to talk to the lady, the owner of the house. She said she bought it 20 years ago. It was in a pretty bad shape. So she had to do a lot of work on the roof, you know, and uh, the inside is completely changed. And um, I wish we could see the inside, but it's impossible right now. Because, you know, I'm not one of those guys who cannot take no for an answer. Uh, <laughs> who cannot take no for an answer. Like, they tell me no, I said, okay, because I'm respectful. All right, let's keep walking. And Is it got, used to be Kommunalka? Yeah, this used to be. That's right, Lana. That's right. Thank you. Uh, it used to be a communal apartment. You know, around the time when they bought these houses, they were like communal houses where three families lived in just one, you know, all together. So it was pretty packed. Hedgehog. Pretty cool. There's definitely some creativity around the house. And over here you got some, I think it's like Soviet storage rooms or something. Or they look like bathrooms, whatever, I don't know. It's a pretty interesting part of town, okay. Oh, that's a good shot of this building. Wow. So you see right behind it is a typical apartment building. And this is a, the third house. Here, when it's warm outside, you know. If you look closely, you're always going to find something interesting. That's the thing. Just keep your eyes open and you'll see something. Domike. Да я больше даже, что они обычные такие, да? Что, не хотите сказать про них? Не хотела бы с ними это. Себе такой домик. Очень интересная женщина, она так прям ухаживает за своим садом. Вы видели с той стороны дом? Ну там куча зелени, да? Да, там у нее очень-очень много рассады. Клево. Советую с ней пообщаться, она здесь все. А она, я потому что я с владельцами, с теми, с теми поговорил, они не очень такие, ну, желают Да, тут на две семьи, по-моему, а вот тут она одна, и она очень жаждет. Думаете, шанс есть, да, с ней договориться? Да, шанс есть. Хорошо. Всего хорошего. Вам удачи. Что мы тут, все округу взбудоражили? Да. Лена, ты в центре внимания сейчас. Что ты будешь делать об этом? Those guys were super friendly. Well, the third house was no luck. So, you know, tough luck today, but it's okay. You know, we got to see the outside, you know, the outside part of the buildings and I think they're pretty neat. And uh, maybe we'll come here some other time. I mean, it's not really that far. It's not much, that much of a drive, but those are unique interesting buildings full of history 
Now, you want to see the cool part? Let me take you from the German part to the regular high-rise apartment building part, right? In a matter of seconds. Here we are, back in Russia again. <laughs> That's a typical apartment building, you know. You so most houses in this community uh, are two-story houses and uh, yeah, just like this. And the funny thing is they all have the same house number, 45. Just like 45, building one, building two, building etc. This house behind me, it belonged to the family of Selivanovs. And that was a noble family, right? And they built it in 1890. This guy by the last name of Selivanov, he was a top figure in one of the Siberian banks in one of the branches in Yekaterinburg. So he made a decent living. Now, we don't know much about the family, but we know that, you know, once the communists came to power, you know, of course, they took the house from them. And somehow it ended up being as one of the buildings that belonged to the Arts and Architecture Academy, which is sitting right behind it, right? So it, made, it was just made sense to give them this building. And so funny story is a hundred years later, right? It was built in 1890, but in the 1980s, somewhere around a hundred years, right? So the students of that academy, they were begging the dean to give them this house to party because they didn't have anywhere to party, you know, in the Soviet times. And so he made a deal with them. He said, if you help me uh, renovate the building, which they did, I'll give you the basement so you can have your parties over there, right? And so this became a, like a popular, popular place for local rock bands and to those Russian viewers you know the, this rock band Nautilus Pampilius okay now also these students that gave it a nickname they called it Prianik which means gingerbread now if you look up Tula gingerbread you'll see that it resembles this building it's also brown and it has a lot of decorations so that's the story behind this building right now it's, part, now it's just the building that belongs to um, Arts and Architecture Academy. So let's go take a closer look. No cars, Lana, we're safe. There's a police station. See those flashing lights? There's a police station. We're not wearing masks, so we might be in trouble. So how was the tour, Lana? Did you enjoy those houses? Yes, but unfortunately we didn't get into those houses, uh, German house. Yeah, that's a shame. Yes. Maybe we have to come another time, right? Yes, I hope. And now let's go to buy some sweet stuff to treat us. Okay, well, we're going to this place called Maria. We got some desserts. Desserts and ice cream and chocolate. It's pretty awesome. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Расскажите пару слов. Шоколад мы делаем сами, привозим с Греции в шоколадных капсулах. Мы его, получается, на кухне у нас там вот есть машина. Она шоколад у нас растапливает вместе с молоком, если это молочный. Так. Обычный просто растапливает шоколад и делаются конфетки. Конфеты у нас есть на разный вкус. Понятно. Сегодня разобрали у нас все шоколад миндаль. Вообще так. прям очень много разобрали. 20 штук сразу же. Mm -hmm. сделали. Том, самые вот такие вот, что если из сладкого, из такого необычного, так. это у нас конфеты кокосы Бейлис. Это вот прям популярные конфеты, которые очень быстро разбирают. Также, если из фруктовых, это конфеты с клубничкой, тут вот такого вот сердечка. Вот его очень хорошо разбирают, прям максимально хорошо. Также у нас есть, собственно, производство, это малина, джем. Так, джемы. Mm -hmm. Джем малина есть. А потом уже когда попробуют, говорят, как у бабушки. О. Даже вкусно очень. 
очень вкусная, как домашняя. Вот да. вот с такой любовью специально было сделано. Сами выпекаем вот такие вот тарты у нас идут. Есть с яблочком у нас, mm -hmm. есть чизкейк. Mm -hmm. Его очень часто спрашивают по утрам, есть ли свежий прям, чтобы взять. Потому что когда он прям свеженький-свеженький, он такой еще не успел остыть. Mm -hmm. Такой тепленький внутри, очень нежный идет. Прям вот разбирают. Да, все приходят и снимают вот этот холодильник у нас. Да? Мороженого собственного производства на палочках. Но прям необычное, такое очень вкусное. Хитом является мороженое на палочке с фисташкой и мороженое с медалем темное. Его прям хорошо разбирают. О, пельмени, пельмени, да? Да, их тоже очень быстро разбирают. Прям такое. Максимально быстро вот такие. Они даже вот сами вот... разбираются. <laughs> да, сами выпадывают. <laughs> очень быстро. Вот сегодня только с курицей недавно привезли, последняя ага. пачка там осталась, как видите. Очень хорошо у нас разбирают молоко по литру. Ничего себе. Его вообще нет, потому что я не раз принесла берут йогурт, и бывает, придут, возьмут по 4, по 6, по 2 йогурта. У нас всегда заканчивается греческий йогурт. Как бы вот столько он стоит, так. но его, к сожалению, нет. Греческий его йогурт. очень ага. быстро разбирают. Well, Anna, have you made up your mind? Yes, I would love to, to buy this one. Okay. Right. Dark chocolate with uh, almonds. You know, I decided to buy this orange chocolate because it's the most unusual one. You got white chocolate, and uh, and this one look, looks pretty yummy as well. I wonder if it's yeah, it's raspberry chocolate with raspberry. Looks good. I'm finally wearing a mask. <laughs> you can't tell that I'm smiling. I am smiling. Спасибо. Спасибо.